So obviously this is the boot animation for it. Nothing fancy, but it looks good for the most part. But this part will also take around, oh, it just vibrated and those lights lit up right there. So that's the sign of it going to boot up into the actual launcher. And there we go. So you still get that because it is based on the Galaxy S4. So you're getting lots of touch whiz features and the look and everything to it. So right now it comes always in Italiano. Select in here, Let's see, English, United States, Samsung keyboard. Sign into your Samsung account, which I do, but I'm gonna skip it for now. And I do have a Google account too, but I'm gonna skip it. You can come back to that later. And then you wanna set, I turn these off for now. I don't leave them on until I actually want to use them. So they're all off for now. And there's touch with easy mode, which is there, but you can delete it later. And let's do Nova Launcher, let's say always. And here we have it. And finally we are ready to use fastness. And then let's bring this down. And now we have darker with all of these features still there. You can turn this off, turn GPS off, uh, mobile data, yep, uh, sync shouldn't be, um, leave that off. All that stuff will be turned on in later times. So I'm not gonna go into deep customizations, how I always put it, but I will show you what you get in this ROM. Not only is this ROM super fast, it does everything I would like. I'm just gonna click here on the camera and uh, you're gonna get all your normal, you know, touch whiz camera applications here so let's open up settings and look at here actually the first thing i always do is go to about my device you see the information right here on foxhound 0.8 and then i want to go to the build number right here watch what's going to happen when i click here and now i opened up developer options and in developer options i'm able to you know do the android usb debugging and I also like to come to the part where I change the animation scale, which makes my phone feel even faster with these going 0 0.5 instead of one second. Now let's go into here. See that my timer is no longer white. It's actually a little bit smaller and it's actually in 24 hour format. But you can change all that. You're gonna get pretty much the same options that you had before. Where you wanna come is the Foxhound Extra. Now in the Extra, you can change the battery right here where we can see styles. These are the different styles that you can see change up here. Very quick on the fly, you can just watch them change as you click on it. And I always go to the very last one, which I like the little battery. But as you see, that's how it looks. An exposed installer, there's some things in here that I still don't even know and I don't mess around with, but uh, you can learn it. I just never had the reason to really go into it. You can change the DPI mode, which is if you want it to look like a tablet, like a phone. Just don't try to change anything really, unless you know exactly what you're doing. So Asia, North America. This will optimize my region. Then you got your audio boost there, the CPU tools, performance and settings. So this is gonna be overclocked. It's at 2.1 gigahertz instead of the 1.9 that you're stocked with. You can set the minimum so you can actually save a lot more battery, which is gonna be really slow though, but it's gonna use as fast as so current minimum is gonna be the very lowest, which is gonna save lots of battery and when it needs it, the performance on demand, you see it's gonna show all its processor speed. It's gonna be real good, but you can keep it up whatever it was. And let's click on Foxtown over the air. So we click in here, see more stuff about the ROM. ROM version wants me, you see right here it says 0 0.9, which I haven't tried and I don't want to try it right now. Samsung applications, if you wanna get a whole bunch of those back, let's say there's all oh, this one didn't come in here and I really needed it for this ROM, you can get it. Here's the options to go. There's app remove, download the file, nope. Uh, Samsung, you can see download the file. Uh, TouchWiz launcher, you can download these ones from here. Mods, if you come into mods, you see there's more framework that you can change and then the volume boosting. The APK, here's even more applications that you can come to. Recovery, the themes, the battery, you can change that completely even with more than what you just saw that me review. The kernels and the settings in here, you can you know, a whole bunch of stuff in here that you just have to test it out for yourself. I'm just showing you exactly what you can change on here and whatnot. Date and time, so we can change that. We see there's a 24 hour format, take that off, change the date to this, and now we have the right time. Now you do see that little blinking, that is not my LED light, that is sensor. I haven't figured out what to turn off since these are all turned off. I don't know why, uh, wh which one it is. So if I turn the screen off like this, as you can see right here, I'm always looking through my camera instead of my phone, so sometimes it's hard to see what I'm doing and look at the screen. 
you see it, it stopped blinking once I turned the screen off so that's my LED is up here everything runs flawlessly on here just selecting everything will open up just as quick as you want it to let's open up YouTube since this is not the stock one as you see I think it's all black it's a lot different than what you're used to and if we want to see a video let's just do how Man of Steel should have ended you see look at the back it's all black and you're getting the basically the same kind of look to it and now you do see it kind of like flickering a little bit I don't see that with my eyes the camera picks it up that way there's an option here in the settings OG settings and OG settings is what allows us to download the video that we're seeing or do the mp3 folder or screen off playback which is going to be allowing you to do this did you make one of me? Screens off, and it's mother, still George. playing. I'm sorry, baby. It's just, it's just too late. There's no time. Sorry. That is a really cool application. Now let's go into the call log right here. We get that Nexus type of look right here, but you still get your normal call logs that Samsung Touch Wiz came with, and then the people application as well. So if you click on here, let's do a dial of six one one. Let's press. Now here's what you get with this ROM. Record your calls with this. So you see right there, speaker. T-Mobile 4G. Press now record. Now faster and more dependable. How can I help you today? Do you see you right here? Anything it's recording for this and right. it's listening to me right now. And you know, you got the options to stop right there recording. Recording was saved. I'm gonna end this call. Let's go into my files. Let's go to all files, device storage, go into sounds, and there's call recording, so let's click on it. Now, faster and more dependable. So you know you're getting both ways. How can I help you today? You can hey, say Victor. anything from it's recording for this and Sorry. It's listening to me right now. And you know you got the option. Which is really handy, so you can do prank calls, not that I you know recommend doing that, but if you wanted to record some important calls coming in, that's one way to do it through this ROM. Also the Gmail and then here is the primary which is going to be showing me the new Gmail which I kind of hate and like at the same time with all these different category jumping thingy there. Let's dismiss that. So you see you get the black theme through here as well. Also Hangouts. Clicking on to here. You can look at right here and we'll see Hangouts is also black but I really like the black thing because it's actually saving me battery and I like how dark it looks because it pops out more things to it. Play Store. Look at the Play Store right here. It's also black. Running smoother. Going in here, go to my apps. And I don't have a lot of stuff downloaded obviously because I just redid everything. But I'll have to import all my stuff that I'm used to. Obviously here you're going to keep your blocky mode, power saving, screen mirroring, multi-window, opening multiple applications, let's put it that way. And we could open Gmail and let's do Hangouts. So you got both of these right here scrolling if you need them. Hotspot, now you have free tethering. S-Beam is still there. Air view, air gesture, driver mode, smart stay, smart pause, smart scroll, syncing, and airplay mode. So you're keeping all that goodies without all that bloatware that you most likely will not use. And then uh, you still get that whatever this is where you get the air gesture view where you can hover around. The messaging application here, we can click on new and you'll see it's all kind of black still. You can type in your numbers here and it's normal. You know, Galaxy Touch Wiz. So basically, you're getting everything darkened. You're getting that call recording. You're getting that YouTube that plays and downloads video, even when the screen's off. You get the new dialer. Even the People's app is as dark. And this is all that comes with it. So you get the S Voice as well, uh, S Planner, S Translator. If you want one of the fastest, and the cleanest and the most reliable ROM that I've tried yet is definitely Foxhound. 0.8 is the one I'm on. I haven't tried 0.9. I'm happy exactly how this works, so I don't need to try another one. I don't want to potentially lose features and have something not work on me on the next update. So I know this works perfectly fine. So I'm going to keep it like this. You also get that TV off animation as well with it. 
A lot of features in here I probably didn't even get into, but just wanted to bring it to your attention, if anything, if that even helped. I just have to honestly say I got the best battery life out of here it's so fast. Everything I click on just opens. You see that? I mean, everything is just instant on this guy. Of course, the fact that is these are open if i close them out it's gonna slow it down so why do you always have to feel you need to close it if you want to well of course you can trash them or go into here and see all the active applications which it's a good thing that they're open a lot of people are like oh why are these applications always on they're good that they're on they, they make your phone work faster and launch faster and get faster so you see look hangouts opens up immediately when i press it so I'm going to close Hangouts, and now I'm going to go home, and I'll open Hangouts. And you see, now it's taking that extra little time to launch it again. That's why it's slow. If you don't let it run, it's it's not going to go fast. So don't close all your applications. Once you're in the 4.1 and up on operating system for Android, you shouldn't have to worry about closing your application. It just makes it take longer, and it has to run all over again. It uses more juice to start your you know application, so it's, just leave them on. And therefore, you can just jump into them very quickly, just like that, if you had to. But if you want, go ahead and close it if it doesn't bother you. I have not had any problems with this ROM. Definitely recommend it. So this was a weird... Uh, I feel like I didn't do very good on it, but that's it. And here's my Nexus... I almost said Galaxy Nexus. Uh, Nexus 4. Nexus 4 now. Wow. I'm a little crazy right now, but I am now... Uh, I just... I actually put a new ROM on this one as well, which is running Paranoid Android. And you'll see that uh, got a few things changed there, and got some pretty cool options in here. And I don't think I need to go into a ROM review on this one unless you guys want me to. But, but like I said, there you guys have it. There you guys have it. There you guys have it. I will see you next time. If you're new to my channel, I do the best apps and games reviews every Mondays and Thursdays. Or Tuesdays or Fridays. Either way, I'll try to follow up the next day. I'm the cool loser. And this was Foxhound on the Galaxy S4. T-Mobile version. Later.